Hey everyone, Dan here, and today I'm gonna to take you through the new G3 app. If we head over to the App Store and just search for the GigRig G3 app, uh, you'll find it and download it on your phone. Now we've got three main functions. We can back up and restore our G3 and Atoms. We can create and edit song lists, and we can also do software updates directly from the app. Okay, let's have a look at how we update our software. First thing we do is check out which version we have in our unit. We go to global setup and then scroll down to version. And in that we'll see the software version number. And beneath that, you will see the checksum number. This is quite important. We'll get back to that later but that's where it is in the version in your unit. So on your iOS device, head to the gigrig.com forward slash support. Remember, you must have the app installed before you download anything. Um, but it's worth noting software version 352 comes pre-installed in the app. So uh, most people will be updating to 352. Um, so you don't need to download anything, it's pre-installed in the app. It also gives you a list of bug fixes and what's new and stuff like that. Now, for the later versions, you'll see the software number, click on that and it asks you if you want to download the sysx file. Um, so we hit download and then top right hand side, you will see a little download arrow. If we press on that download arrow, you will see the sysx file. If you press on that, it will open in the app. So yes, it's very important that you have the app installed before you uh, download any uh, sysx files from the website. So we're going to head over to G3, we're going to head down to global setup, and from there we're going to go to Bluetooth. So we want to update, so head down to update, and then we press for switch 4, um, which uh, says start update download. This turns on the Bluetooth and is now looking for your phone. So we head to the app and we hit connect, and then you'll see that it's found your unit, and that's my unit there. And then if I press on connecting, uh, suddenly it'll be, you see it connected and also on the screen of G3. Hit dismiss bottom right hand corner on the app and that'll take us back to the home screen and you'll see connect is now lit in green which says it is connected to the unit. Now I'll press update and we will find the version that we want to update to uh, which is 352. You can see there's a lot of update versions in mine. But uh, yes, 352, then we'll hit transmit, and then you'll see it starts transmitting the packets um, into G3. So once it's transmitted all those packets, um, it's going to do a check. Depending on the software version that you're updating from, it depends the message that you'll get, but you'll see this checksum number. Now, if you remember the checksum number from the website, we need to make sure that these match. If these don't match, just exit at this point from the menu and start again. Um, but if these match, then you are good to go. So all we need to do from here is then press four and it will start checking uh, the sectors. And once it's done that, again, depending on the software version that you're updating from, um, you'll see this message. What's really important is once uh, it's finished doing all the checks, you must cycle the power. So unplug the power and then plug it back in. And then we're just going to do a quick check. We're going to head back to the version number. So we're going to press the menu and back down to globals. And then in the globals, we're going to head back down to um, the uh, version number. And then you'll see the version number, we have the software version number there and the checksum underneath it. And if that's all good, then we are done. Now let's have a look at creating and editing song lists. There are two modes in G3. Uh, we go to global setup and the first thing you see is song and bank mode. So in song mode, it replaces the bank numbers with uh, song titles. So we can assign a song title to each bank. Right, so first of all, let's create a song list. Let's open up the app and press song list. And then we're gonna press new. So you'll see on the um, left-hand side of the app, all the numbers, these correlate to the banks within G3. And then we can just press on those and start editing them. Now the uh, song titles lets you have two lines. Um, you have the top line and the a line underneath it. So we're just gonna create some songs and then we have a song list. So we've got a little song list here. I'm going to um, save that song list. 
um, as a TPS gig and then hit save. And so there we have our song list file. Now we're going to transmit that song list file into our G3. So we go to Bluetooth, load song list. Again, it's looking for the phone. So we go to connect and then we hit to song list and then we find the song list file we want to send and then we hit transmit. And so that will start transmitting the uh, song list information over to G3. And once it's done, hit preset four to save. Then we hit menu to exit. And then you'll see if we go to global setup and we switch from song from bank mode to song mode, um, we will see as we go up the banks uh, that we have song titles instead of bank numbers. The bank numbers are still underneath. Now, one really cool thing about the uh, set list idea is that we can actually reorder the song so we can have like a master set list and then we just move the songs around um, you know for various gigs and things and once that's done we can then simply transmit those songs again into uh, G3 save it as a different file and then uh, transmit those songs again into G3 and then as we start scrolling up through the banks you'll see that it's actually referencing the banks in the correct order and then we can save the presets as different parts of the song. So, you know, chorus and a verse and, um, you know, label the presets like that. Right. Finally, we get to back up and restore. So this enables us to take all of our settings and back them up into our unit. So we head, head to Bluetooth. We hit save backup. Again, it's looking to be connected. So on the app, we hit connect, find our unit, hit connect. Um, and then from here, we go to backup. We hit four and it's going to send the backup files. So we can see the packet numbers going up here. Now, if you're only using, say, 20 banks in your G3, limit the amount of banks in G3 and that will make this process so much faster. If you're only using 20 banks, there's no need to back up 99 banks. So go into the global section and the number of banks, and then you can limit the number of banks there, and that will make this process a lot faster. So once I've saved the number of banks, I can save that file as uh, whatever I want to call it, Dan's backup number one, I guess. And there it is, the backup is saved now in my phone. So I've always got that there and I can um, you know, mess around to my heart's content and then that'll always be there. So I restore the backup in a very similar way. I go to restore backup on G3, I do connect, I go into backups and then I click the backup file I want to um, restore to and then I hit transmit and then you can see that it's receiving the packets. And again, um, I'm, I'm only restoring five banks here. Um, to make that quite a, a quick job. And then once it's finished, it says cycle power to complete. Once that's done, again, uh, we're good to go. I've now restored my original backup. That's the app. It's really simple, but a really great feature to have. If you have any questions at all, please get in touch. Support at thegigrig.com. Thanks everyone, bye.